Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and in this video we're opening up the mystery box that I got from Rocket Railways Reclaimed. If you didn't catch my trip to Rocket Railways, then I'll stick a link to it up here. In that video, Jason explained the concept behind these mystery boxes, which is that when they receive large secondhand collections, after they've taken out the good quality stuff that can be stocked in the shop, there's often bits in there that just can't be sold. We're talking half used scenic materials, items that might be slightly damaged or missing parts, stuff like that. Previously, that would have gone into the bin, but what they've realized is that some of this stuff could be useful to other modelers. So now they gather up a random selection of items to create these mystery boxes. They cost eight pounds, which includes postage. They don't make any profit on them. It's just an effort to try and be a bit kinder to the environment and generate less waste, which is a great idea. This is the box that I picked up when I visited the shop. I don't think I'm getting any special treatment. Jason didn't pack this and neither of us know what's in it. And given that this cost eight pounds and the contents were destined for the bin, I've set my expectations suitably low, but I'm still excited to see what's inside. And make sure you keep watching until the end to see what I managed to do with it. Right, okay, let's get this opened up. So we've got some packing paper on top here. We've got a bit of marketing and there's actually quite a lot in here. We've got part of a signal bracket there, missing the top part of the signals, but we have got an intact ladder, so that could be useful. This looks like it is one of the top pieces of the Hornby School. On closer inspection, because it's green, I actually think it's from the Hornby Mainline Station building, but they're basically the same structure and I'm sure it'll fit on either. That might come in useful, not got the windows in it. We've got a bit of a roof. Maybe we could um, scratch build the, the house to go beneath it, I don't know. Oh, there's the, uh, the tiling for the top bit of the school. So that fits on there. Right, we've got some platform. That's some old, old style platform. I don't know what brand that is, maybe triangle? That could come in useful. Got a few blue marks on it. Okay. And there's a bit more of this in here. So we've got a bit more platform. We've got another type of signal, which is operational. I don't know what type of signal that is though. I'm gonna to have to do some research on that one. I don't know what brand it is either. And after doing a bit more research, I think the signal is German and probably made by one of the European manufacturers. If you've got any more information, then let me know in the comments below. I think these fit onto the back of here. Yeah, these are Hornby. There's another bit here and we've got space for the um, station name on the back there. This thing looks big and weird. Uh, right, let's get it out now. It's heavy. Good job I didn't shake this around too much. Don't know what we'd be able to do with that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. That might be going into the bin. It's not the most detailed rock face I've ever come across, but uh, okay. This looks interesting. We've got part of a car carrier. It's a Lima car carrier. Missing one set of wheels, but we do have two small orange cars in there. I'm sure we can do something with that. Got another piece of platform. This is more modern. So I've got quite a few bits of this over on the shelf behind me. And it's got its connecting clips and these sometimes snap off. So yeah, that's in very good condition. We've got a canopy in fairly good condition as well. We've still got all the glazing in there. That presumably um, would have gone on top of a, a platform at some point. Doesn't look like we've got the uprights to hold it in place. We've got a girder bridge. This is in fairly good condition as well. We've got a, a couple of broken um, pieces at the end. A bit of the plastic handrail here is gone, but I actually think I've got the kit for this over on, on the shelf over there as well. So that could come in useful. That looks in pretty good condition, to be honest. I like that. Put that there. And then we've got a few bits of uh, plastic hedge. That well, looks a bit. One, two, three, four, five bits of plastic hedge. Not the most realistic looking hedge in the world, but a hedge nonetheless. So yeah, we can definitely do something with that. So all in all, I don't think we've done too badly there. We've got the truss bridge, we've got quite a bit of platform, and then a canopy. We've got five bits of plastic scenery hedging. We've got the Lima car carrier. We've got a roof, a couple of signal related things the top piece of the Hornby School. And then we've got this, this is a monstrosity. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. 
and um, yeah I think that might end up going in the bin but um, yeah overall for less than £10 that's all right so with the box unpacked, I had to think about what I could do with this stuff. I decided to focus on the bits that I thought looked the most interesting, which in my opinion were the Lima car transporter and the Faller girder bridge. The rest will go into the spares box. Starting with the Lima car transporter, the obvious problem with this is that it's missing a set of wheels on one end and the entire bogey on the other end. Other than that, it's in relatively good condition and we've got the two cars that come with it. I wondered if I could somehow fix this up and get it back on the rails. Probably a bit of effort, but I don't own a car transporter and it might be nice to have one. The biggest issue with getting it running again was the missing bogey. Finding a single replacement bogey was always going to be a long shot, but I had a quick scan on eBay anyway to see if someone was listing the part. As expected, it wasn't there, so it was time to put the 3D printer to work. I didn't have time to recreate the existing bogey in 3D, so jumped on Thingiverse, found a bogey that looked vaguely similar, and got a couple of those printing. Whilst that was happening, I decided to give the car carrier a paint job. If you've seen my previous efforts at painting, then you'll know I'm not very good. But that's the nice thing about these mystery boxes, you get plenty of stuff to practice on and it doesn't really matter if you mess it up. I went with a metallic steel colour for the framework and some good old sleeper grime for the upper and lower decking. Later on you'll see that I also painted the information boards on the side of the wagon in black and tried to dry brush the lettering on it in white to help it stand out. By the time I'd finished painting, the bogies had printed. On Thingiverse I also managed to find a Lima style bogey connector and a coupling hook. Then with a bit of hacking and super glue, I had myself two replacement bogies. Unfortunately I only had white filament for the printer so needed to spray them black. Then add in four sets of metal wheels and two coupling hooks and we've got a wagon that will once again run on the rail. The model had come with two cars and these were pretty basic with bits of excess plastic that needed trimming off. There was no glazing or internal moulding but I had a go at tarting them up a bit by picking out a few details like the hubcaps and grills with chrome paint and adding in some highlights to the headlights. And if I was going to have a car transporter then I didn't just want to have two cars on it, I wanted it to be full. So I found a model of a Mustang on Thingiverse, maybe not the most appropriate car for an Italian car transporter but they look cool. So I 3D printed a couple of those on my resin printer and had some more fun with the airbrush. I thought it might be fun to add in some white go faster stripes down the middle of each car. It was my first attempt at masking areas off the painting. They're not perfect, but they're good enough. I'll show you these on the car transporter at the end, but first I needed to turn my attention to the Faller Gerda bridge. The plan was to display my newly refurbished car transporter on it. The bridge was in pretty good condition, so I just gave the girders a still metallic look, the deck a wooden colour effect and painted the handrails black. To increase the length of the bridge, I put together the other kit that my dad had bought me in the mid 90s. Turns out I'd lost a few bits, but most of it was still there. Once built, I gave it the same paint job as the other one and secured them together to give me a double length span. So with minimal effort and cost, we've gone from this broken, non-running wagon destined for the bin to this smooth running car transporter. And from this plain girder bridge to something a bit more interesting with a paint job and when combined with the other kit forms quite an impressive length bridge. And with a bit of editing magic we can set it over a beautiful Italian river and here comes my Lima shunter pulling the car transporter. So there we go, an eight pound mystery box from Rocket Railways reclaimed turned into a fun project, which now means I've got a car transporter. But most importantly, plastic items that would have ended up in landfill have been given a second life. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you again soon.